Hi, how you guys doing? This is the Michael Kelly Hybrid.
Beautiful guitar, highly functionable too. Uh, let's just go through the appointments. Features a set of Grover tuners, mahogany neck, it's a set neck, right? This is a mahogany body, power ferro fretboard with medium jumbo frets. And these are the uh, abalone uh, inlays, very nice. Um, interesting part about this guitar is that it features a spouted maple uh, top and uh, a set of Fishman pickups, which I will tell you the uh, the, the model. Very interesting. Um, this this guitar, the uniqueness of this guitar is because of the pickups, right? You have a set of uh, rock feel. Uh, humbuckers, which is uh, split callable, splittable, right? You can actually have a pull switch to split call it. These are, these are humbuckers, right? And then you have the uh, the Fishman uh, transducer pickup system in here. Um, you can actually have a selection of uh, just the humbuckers or split call, three-way switch, right? And then if you want to kick in the uh, the acoustic sounding transducer pickups from the Fishman, this is a switch. And then you have the middle which you can blend between the transducers and the humbuckers or the split call. And this is just the, on the up position, this is just the pickups, right? Middle, pickups and transducer, down, transducers only. Now, uh, it features F hole, very really nice. So this probably help a little bit with the acoustic sounds. Uh, features a battery compartment right at the back here. Right? That's probably to, uh, to power the transducer or the Fishman pickups. And that's about it. Guitar is pretty light. I'll let you know the weight here. This guitar features the Power Ferro MK acoustic uh, bridge. Now there's no adjustment for string height so you have to be properly set up first before anything else. Or uh, I, I guess if the action is too high, then you probably have to file down the saddle, which I don't think the company actually recommends it, right? Mm. How does it play? Well, this guitar, uh, you know, this particular guitar is uh, is uh, delivered with the courtesy, a kind courtesy of uh, City Music for this review. Um, it's probably been set up, I guess. I, I just find that the action was a bit too low and. Um, these are strung with 09s. I would prefer this to be a 010s or 011 actually. The uh, Michael Kelly company actually uh, recommended 011s, but 010s will, will do fine. These are like a bit too thin. Yeah, yeah, these are 09. So it's a bit too thin for this guitar, especially for the acoustic sounds. How does it play? You know, it, it plays well, the action is good. I have no problem with the uh, the twelve inch fret radius. Um, although I, I I believe the twelve inch fret radius catered more to the acoustic because you know easy easy to play chords. You know, uh, in terms of lines, it's okay. You know, I, I can I can make do. The pickup heights you need to take off the brackets first before you can adjust the height. So there's no on site you know adjustment. On the spot, you gotta take out the, the brackets and then you gotta adjust the heights. The pickups are okay. These rock few uh, humbuckers are decent sounding, even though they are low output. Um, when you split call, you you'll gather the uh, 60 cycle hum, of course. The transducer pickups are okay. Uh, these are like you know any uh, pickups that you see in the Parker guitars, you know, uh, the Parker flies, and of course the uh, what do you call that, the Line Six um, Barry X. Um, the only giveaway is when you strum, and you can tell that okay, these are not the real acoustic guitars. But in, in, in terms of like arpeggios and stuff like that, you can get away with it uh, with the right effects. Right. And the blend, you know, you can do a whole lot of stuff with the blend. The, the fact of the matter is that this guitar should come in with a Y jack, which it doesn't because uh, I think they forgot to give me the Y jack. There is a Y connection uh, where you can actually have your, your electronic pickups into an amp and the transducer out into a acoustic amp. So it gives you a, the best of both worlds, you know, and you can actually kind of like get the volume uh, separate and different effects and stuff like that. I, I wanted to do this because I can do it, but I don't have to, I don't have the Y cable, so I have to make do with what I have. Um, and the other thing of this, about this guitar, this Michael Kelly hybrid is the way it looks. It's a real pretty guitar, you know, from the headstock, to the rest of the body. The spotted maple actually, yeah, 
has his uh, <laughs> has his thing. This guitar is made in Korea. It's a Korean made guitar. Very fine workmanship, you know. Um, yeah. So tell me what do you think about this guitar? Even though it's pretty, it serves a whole lot of function if you choose to. Um, ranging from rock, pop, country to acoustic and even a blend of the acoustic and the electric, the electric pickups. You know, it gives you a whole uh, palette of sounds to choose from. Interesting. All right. So again, a shout out to my Patreon page. So if you want to support my channel, please feel free to go ahead uh, through the Patreon page. I'll put a link down below. And uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to this channel. And um, yeah, I'll see you in my live stream or I'll see you again in the next video. You guys take care of yourself. Uh, remember, if you're on a train or on a bus, wear a mask. You know, it's still not over yet. Just take care of yourself, right? Till the next video. Arrivederci.